Hi everyone, it's been week 19 here at Lambda School. We covered Django, basically how to set up a Django framework, how to build APIs, and then how to deploy the server to Heroku. And I have to say it's been a pretty great week overall. Um, it's been re more relaxing than the previous weeks because of um, you just have to follow instructions to finish the project instead of having to think your way through it like with graphs and algorithms and data structures as before. And there's a lot of great documentation on Django. It's a lot older than Node.js, so there's a lot more resources. It's also a framework that includes a lot of batteries from the ground up, so you don't really have to build things out as you would in Node.js. And the training kit was pretty great as well. Um, it outlined everything that you needed to do as long as you paid attention to the details, not missing a period or not missing a semicolon in the commands, you would be okay. And in my uh, projects, I didn't have too much of a problem in the homeworks. Um, it was just going through the instructions again and um, I'll show some of the examples here. You can see uh, just going through the files, making sure that you install the correct packages and setting up the correct uh, um, imports and all that sort of thing and it's pretty much good to go. Um, in terms of the sprint challenge this week, it, was, it wasn't too difficult either. Um, I actually finished it yesterday, which is Thursday. Usually we would do it on Friday here for three hours, but I think the instructors decided that if there was a time limit or anything, it wouldn't really help our situation either, given that you could run into some pretty weird errors if you um, did something wrong or just by pure bad luck, I guess. But they did allow us to start it yesterday and I successfully deployed it to Heroku and got it working and everything. So. I'm pretty much done with the sprint challenge. Um, so today, um, I figured I'd just pop on a video here much quicker than usual. And for our instructor, um, we still had Brady. Uh, Monday, uh, we just had a um, kind of a Q&A session. Uh, there wasn't really any formal instruction per se because Brady was still at the retreat. So we had one of the PMs cover for him. And during Throughout the rest of the week, it was pretty much the same thing, just going over the instructions from the training kit and the ability to ask questions and to troubleshoot live during the lecture. And for the most part, um, it was pretty great, pretty relaxing week. And we also had some little tidbits here from Brady who was, you know, had experience in the industry. So he shared with us a couple of things that were uh, pretty cool. And that was the sprint challenge and during the week what had happened. And now um, I think that's pretty much covers it. Um, the topic itself is not too hard. Um, I personally still prefer Node.js over Django. Um, Django, there's a lot of boilerplating sometimes too. And it doesn't feel like I'm as involved as I would be in Node where I know exactly what I'm pulling in. And Django is more like you have to make sure all the commands are there. It's pretty uh, well thought out, well built, but if you screw up one tiny thing, the whole system kind of goes out of whack. Whereas Node is kind of more modular in my opinion, so you can bring things as needed. So um, again, personal preference, uh, the instructor still preferred uh, Python and Django, that's his favorite. Um, my favorite is still JavaScript, React, and node express that sort of thing and i think that's all i have to say for this week um, you can see from the uh, work that i did here um, it wasn't uh, very difficult just follow instructions and even though the project did not call for it, the the homework uh, which was uh, completed through a, a course of four days um, i actually did a react front end and i was successfully able to connect it to the Django backend. So that's something for the future to consider as well. If I want to get up something quick, I can maybe throw up Django because everything is already set up. Whereas Node might take a little bit longer, if, you know, because you have to build it out more so. So that's it. That's going to do it for me here. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me a message. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend.